Let's continue some more definitions and learn more about DC circuits. Definition of Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that temperature remaining constant, the current through a passive element is directly proportional to the voltage across the element. Note down this law, you'd need it later on for problems and also as a theoretical question. The passive element may be an individual element or an equivalent of a number of passive elements connected in series or parallel or a combination of some in series and some in parallel. This would be more clearer as the lesson continues. Ohm's law can be applied to any particular part of the circuit or to a complete circuit. So Ohm's law can be applied to the whole circuit or just a part of the circuit as well. You will learn later about nodes and meshes and how you can segregate the circuit into parts. Let's take a simple DC circuit shown in figure 1.4. Note down the figure. Voltage is V. The current is I and we have an element. I is proportional to V. That is V divided by I is a constant and that constant we take it as R. Where R is known as the resistance of the element or I is equal to V by R or V is equal to I R. This is actually how we show Ohm's law in an equation form. V is equal to IR is the general way of showing it. Limitations of Ohm's law. It does not hold true for nonlinear devices such as semiconductors and other diodes. It is not applicable to non-metallic conductors such as silicon carbide where the following relation is applicable. So we don't use Ohm's law for such conductors, but we use another equation known as V is equal to K into I power M, where K and M are constants. This is a different relation. You can note it down. It's used for non-metallic conductors. Ohm's law can't be used for arc lamps and it does not hold good in metals where the temperature rises rapid. A series circuit. The circuit in which resistances are connected end to end so that there is only one path for current flow is called a series circuit. Note down this definition. In a series circuit, the same current flows through all the resistances. So in a series circuit, the current flowing through each resistance is the same. There will be a voltage drop across each resistance according to Ohm's law. We learnt in Ohm's law V is equal to IR. So that voltage drop is present across each and every resistance present in the series circuit. Remember this. The sum of the voltage drops is equal to the applied voltage. You have to remember these two main points while dealing with a series circuit. That the current is the same, but the sum of the voltage drops is equal to the applied voltage.